how to create content for your membership site when you're a small business owner. Hi, I'm Lucy Griffiths, and I'm gonna show you how you can create content for your membership site really easily when you're a small business owner. This bit often puts small business owners off creating a membership because it's overwhelming. It seems scary to be on that hamster wheel of constantly having to create content. And I know I've been there, but there are strategies to make the whole process easier, even if it's just you creating the content. to creating content for your membership. How do you go about doing that as a small business owner without feeling completely overwhelmed? And that is one of the tricky things that you do need to think about. So I want you first of all to take a deep breath and say, you know what, you can do this. And even if you have a small team or it's just you, I started with just me and a toddler running around but it was so doable. But you do have to think and have that vision, that plan of what you want to create. So the first thing I would say is map out a plan for your year of content. You don't have to create it all, but at least know where you are going. So it will feel less overwhelming. So literally have an idea of what content you're going to create every single month. So in my membership, I do things slightly differently because it's a space where people can practice their Facebook lives and their videos. So that's one of the core focuses. And then they also get some actual doing content as well. They learn. And so it's learning new video techniques each month. And there's a module based around that content. So, you know, if you think about what you want to give people, what the core premise of your business is, then how are you going to expand that into the membership? And when you do that, you want to think of keeping it simple, keeping it really streamlined so that you have a small offering that so it doesn't feel too overwhelming for people. Because if you're feeling overwhelmed creating the content, the people on the receiving end will also feel overwhelmed because they'll be thinking, oh my goodness, there's so much stuff. I don't know where to start. And they feel like they're not getting their money's worth. They're not getting their value. So you want to make them feel like it's doable and achievable every single month. So they take action and get results on what you are delivering. So think about the best ways you can help them to get results. I'm just about to launch another membership actually and with that we are going to be doing sprints. So rather than actually lots of doing and learning, it's more about creating a space for people where they can sit down, take, take action and implement w whatever it is they're working on so they have a space to do that. So you can create a membership in whichever way you want, but you want to make sure that people have that opportunity to really get it done and they don't feel overwhelmed. When it comes to planning out that content, if you've got a year's plan, then you can also invite experts into your group and they can give a talk each month on a particular topic. So you can get those lined up, get them lined up well in advance. And I would also say, especially as a small membership owner, that you also have a backup content just in case they are no show. I've definitely had times where people haven't shown up and it's been so stressful because literally the day before thinking, oh my God, I've got to create this content. I remember being on holiday in Thailand and somebody didn't show up. And so it meant that I had to create content while I was on holiday and it was like, oh no, I did it. I turned it around. I created some great content, but it's really stressful and you don't want that stress when you're on vacation. So always think at least having one backup bit of content if possible so that you can slot that in just if something happens, something goes wrong, whatever it may be. And then at least you're still keeping your audience happy, the membership is still running and you don't have that stress level because 
not creating that content, not having that backup supply or those ideas is really overwhelming. And being on the hamster wheel where you're having to create one content and then going to the next and feeling really overwhelmed with it is much more stressful. If you're able to film and batch your content, so you, you're batching of filming a, a variety of content in one go, it's much, much easier. I'm now at a point where I literally plan out a year's worth of content and I film it over one day and I'm filming the front of that content. So I know what I'm filming, I've done my hair and makeup, I do the filming, and then it's just doing the sort of back end trainings to go with those videos, but I've got that plan. And, and the reason that I started doing this is because I just, as a small membership owner, I was becoming overwhelmed with the experts. So I decided I was gonna create the content, I could manage that, and it felt less overwhelming to me. But at the same time, then I have experts drop in. And that is much easier for me to manage. With my new membership, the way we're setting it up is I, we're having these sprint sessions, which I mentioned, and I'm also having paid experts who come in and I pay them and they are there every single month because I'm paying them to be there. So they'll be there every single month, every single week, whatever it may be. And so again, that becomes less stressful because you're paying them to show up. And so you don't have this, will they show up, will they not show up panic that I definitely used to have when I first created my membership. So I hope that helps you with content creation and thinking, get that plan in place and then create your content and then have your backup content. And knowing that you have the backup content will really reassure you. If you want to decide if a membership is for you, then I have um, nine smart strategies for passive income. So be sure to check out my freebie below. Lots of different ideas of creating reoccurring income, including courses, including memberships, Airbnbs, whatever works for you. So go check that out. Thank you so much for being here. Um, if you like this video, I would love you to click the button below to give it a like and subscribe to my channel and also hit the bell if you really like it so you get the notifications and I'll see you again soon. Thanks so much for watching. Bye bye bye.